morning, dear viewer. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you again to the Gospel Lane. Now the sun is up, meaning that we have an opportunity to receive a ray of heaven's brightness. And as we have been saying, we have been receiving the messages of the book of Revelation through the lens of the Gospel. So that we can try and see if we can find Jesus on the pages and lines of his prophecy. That's why I welcome you today to the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 9. We say that I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patience of Jesus Christ was in the island that is called Patmos for the sake of the word of God and also the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now about 100 uh, AD, John was persecuted and he was taken to that island that is called Patmos. Perhaps that he will die there. Perhaps that his voice will be silenced forever. But I want you to see something. Emperor Domitian is the one who persecuted John. And during that time, as they were demanding the worship of the emperors, the faithful apostles and the followers of Jesus Christ could not give in to that. That's why they underwent persecution. But today I want to present something beautiful about persecution and suffering. Now as Christians, you know very well that God uh, created us and placed us in the Garden of Eden. There we were supposed to learn the heavenly education. We were supposed to know more about God, to understand Him, and to test our loyalty to Him, so that if we would overcome, we will live forever and ever with Him, away from temptation and even away from any possibility of sin. Yes, we lost that. And today God is also taking us through another model of education, a different model of education. And that is the education through sufferings, through the difficulties of life, through temptations, and through trials that we come through. As Christians, if we are faithful, faithful in the face of persecution, in the face of trials, if we can overcome temptations and stand during trials, we shall obtain and possess a character likened to that which is tried in fire, just as gold is tried in fire. And so Jesus allowed his church to be tried so that their character may be strengthened, their faith will be established in him, and beyond that, he was revealing himself unto them. John says, for the sake of the one and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Even in our sufferings, in our tribulation, in our difficulties, we can still find Jesus. And beyond that, when we faithfully go through that, we are sure that the fitness to enable us to get into heaven is ours to possess eternal. Thank you for joining us in the Gospel Lens. My name is Jovin Odiambo for Kuzda TV.